Hello, my name is Andy and I'm the Village Idiot and I'm with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Now today you find me once again in North East Derbyshire. Now I'm currently stood on the end of a road called Park Road. There you have it, Park Road. Now, Park Road does not refer to the normal kind of park you may be thinking of because behind my car there is a massive industrial estate. It's huge. That's the kind of park we're talking about. And there's even a handy little map of it here on this corner. There it is. We are there on Chesterfield Road. And as you can see, this industrial estate stretches quite a long way. And in fact, where it says Heathrow just there, there's even a little bit more industrial park down there and there's quite a lot of businesses on it. And where will you find this? Well, you'll find it in the parish of Heath and Homewood. seen a crazy amount of England flags around on this estate. This uh, video was being filmed on the same day as England played Germany in the last 16 of Euro 2020. Um, so by the time this video goes out you'll know what the result was. I'm hoping it was a good one.
guess what I found? I have found a map. I love finding maps, it's brilliant. So here is the base of Heath and Homewood Parish Council in the Memorial Garden. And on the side of this building, which is I assume where the Parish Council meet, is a map showing Heath and Homewood's boundaries. Okay, so we are about there underneath the D on Heath Road, uh, somewhere there anyway, and my plan here is to walk back down this road and then head up there, because uh, my car is parked obviously at the industrial estate on Park Road. Uh, when we get to that point, I'm then gonna drive through the industrial estate and anchor the uh, GoPro uh, to the dashboard to show you the industrial estate. I may go for this part of the industrial estate, I'm not sure yet. But my main focus at that point will be getting to Heath. Now Heath is much smaller than Homewood, a lot smaller. But there is one very interesting thing about Heath that I need to cover and that's to do with this area here. That is of great importance. But as you can see, Heath and Homewood's parish boundaries cover a lot of land as well. They cover the entire area of Junction 29 of the M1 and a few bits and bobs uh, to the uh, to the east of it as well uh, and of course the uh, little hamlet of Owlcoats up there at the top now of course I can't cover it all because it's uh, such a big area uh, but that's my plan anyway to walk back through Homewood uh, get in the car drive down through the industrial estate and we'll finish this one in Heath it's a big old parish this one really big Okay, so we're back at the car where we began and now we're going to hop in the car, anchor the GoPro to the dashboard and we're going to drive down through this industrial estate. It's quite a big one.
Okay, so in much the same way as the industrial estate, we're going to attach the GoPro to the uh, dashboard again and drive up through Heath to the, uh, the north of the village because that's where most of the interesting stuff is here. Uh, the south appears to be on the map, uh, just basically uh, houses, residential areas. Uh, so we'll attach the GoPro and we'll drive up to the top of the village. in a second.
Okay, that's uh, pretty much it for Heath Village for now. Uh, I need now to drive to uh, a nature reserve which is right on the boundary of Heath and Homewood uh, with the neighbouring parish that I've forgotten. I've forgotten which one it is. Uh, I'll put it in the video just here somewhere. Um, so yeah, we're going to drive to that now. Uh, that's quite an important thing uh, within this parish. And then after that, I'm hoping to see something rather, rather special to finish this video off with, which means driving out of the parish and then back into it again along the A617. Wish me luck. Let's go. that's just about going to do it for the parish of Heath and Homewood very very varied so we've got an ex mining community and a village which been, has been split in half by modern uh, transport uh, developments the A617 the M1 which has meant that that quaint little 12th century church is now obviously cut off from the rest of Heath uh, obviously you can still access it I wasn't totally sure whether or not I was actually going to be allowed up there because as you can see uh, the road is public obviously it's not a private road but I wasn't sure whether or not it was uh, maintained you know uh, regulated is the word I'm looking for but it seems like I could walk up there and film it without any problems so I'm glad I got that in uh, so yeah it just makes this one a little bit more interesting and like I said very varied Heath and Homewood a big parish too I know full well I've not uh, covered everything it's impossible with ones like this but I think I've done a good job and it's taken me a good 
hour and a half, two hours to do it. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's another one off the Northeast Derbyshire list. So my plan now is to get back onto the M1, which thankfully is just there at Junction 29, and head home. And I'll see you again in Northeast Derbyshire at some point in the not too distant future. This has been the parish of Heath and Homewood, and I've been the village idiot, and I'm out.